Spyro Air Flow Volume Loop Flow volume loops are the most recognized pulmonary function test, but they are the most demanding to perform and reproduce. It is an effort-dependent maneuver that requires good coaching and encouragement to achieve meaningful results. The subject will respond directly to the technician's energy, so this is no time to be meek and mild. It is said that the best pulmonary function testing labs can be heard down the corridor. Testing is initiated by pressing the space bar and continues until the technician ends the test with another space bar. To assist the technician during the flow volume effort, an FET meter counts the seconds of forced expiratory effort. The forced effort should continue for a minimum of six seconds, and in cases of COPD can be much longer. On subsequent efforts, a percent of best FVC meter is also displayed. When this climbs beyond 95% and the FET meter is past six seconds, most efforts will meet ATS acceptability. To begin flow volume, make sure the subject is sitting upright and is wearing a nose clip. To start the test, press the space bar and encourage normal tidal breathing. Once you see a stable tidal volume, ask the patient to take a deep breath in as far as you can, make sure they are fully inflated, then encourage them to blast the air out as hard and fast as you can and keep the effort going until you are completely empty. When the patient is completely empty, instruct them to breathe in until completely full. These instructions must be emphatic to ensure maximum effort. At the conclusion of each flow volume effort, the spirometer will be automatically returned to its center position and tests are evaluated for ATS acceptability and reproducibility. A hollow check mark indicates an ATS acceptable effort. Solid check marks indicate which efforts also meet reproducibility. When full ATS reproducibility has been achieved, a large check mark confirms that good flow volume testing has been accomplished.